A gestational carrier is a woman who, because she wants to help other people, chooses to have a baby and give the baby to a couple who could not otherwise have a child on their own. There's two major types. The first type is where the gestational carrier has no genetic link to the couple that wants to have the child. So for example, the couple who wants to have a child, the woman in that couple may not have a uterus or for whatever reason her uterus is not suitable to have a baby, but she still has her ovaries. So what she can do is she can go through a, a medical procedure called IVF to harvest her eggs and have those eggs be fertilized with her partner's sperm to form embryos. And then those embryos can be placed into the uterus of the gestational carrier, who then carries the pregnancy, delivers the pregnancy, and then gives the baby to the couple without having any genetic link to the child. And that's actually probably the, the simplest type of genetic carrier from a legal perspective because there's, there's no genetic link. The other kind of uh, gestational carrier is where the gestational carrier does have a genetic link to the child that she carries. And this may come about through a couple who enlists a friend or family member, especially in the, in the case of a family member, the, the genetic component is desirable, particularly for a woman who has no uterus and say has no ovaries, but wants the child to have some of her genetic makeup. So she enlists a family member, and the family member is inseminated, meaning sperm from the patient's partner is injected into the gestational carrier, and so the gestational carrier's own egg fertilizes with the sperm from the patient's partner, and so then the gestational carrier is genetically related to the child that she then delivers. Um, and that can certainly be very nice for families to have that genetic connection, but it can sometimes also cause some, some complications socially and legally.